Introduction A chemical formula or molecular formula is a way of expressing information about the atoms that constitute a particular chemical compound. Chemical formulas may be used in chemical equations to describe chemical reactions. For ionic compounds and other non-molecular substances, an empirical formula may be used in which the subscripts indicate the ratio of the elements. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to understand ions of different compounds, calculate molecular mass and write molecular formula of different compounds. Ion An ion is a charged particle and can be negatively or positively charged. A negatively charged ion is called an anion and the positively charged ion is called a cation. For example, sodium chloride. Its constituent particles are positively charged sodium ions and negatively charged chloride ions. A group of atoms carrying a charge is known as polyatomic ion. Example, nitrate ion. Writing chemical formula. The chemical formula of a compound is a symbolic representation of its composition. For this, we need to learn the symbols and combining capacity of the elements. The combining power or capacity of an element is known as its valency. Valency can be used to find out how the atoms of an element will combine with the atoms of another element to form a chemical compound. The valencies of some simple and polyatomic ions are given in table. The rules that you have to follow while writing a chemical formula are as follows. The valencies or charges on the ion must balance. When a compound consists of a metal and a non-metal, the name or symbol of the metal is written first. For example, Calcium oxide, CaO, sodium chloride, NaCl, iron sulfide, FeS, copper oxide, CuO, etc., where oxygen, chlorine, sulfur are non-metals and are written on the right, whereas calcium, sodium, iron and copper are metals and are written on the left. In compounds formed with polyatomic ions, the ion is enclosed in a bracket before writing the number to indicate the ratio. Formula of simple compounds The simplest compounds which are made up of two different elements are called binary compounds. While writing the chemical formula for compounds, we write the constituent elements and their valencies. Example, hydrogen chloride, HCl, hydrogen sulfide, H2S, carbon tetrachloride, CCl4, aluminium oxide, Al2O3. Molecular mass and mole concept. The molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule of the substance. It is therefore the relative mass of a molecule expressed in atomic mass units. Example. The molecular mass of HNO3 is equal to the atomic mass of H plus the atomic mass of N plus 3 into the atomic mass of O, which is equal to 1 plus 14 plus 48, which equals 63 units. The formula unit mass of a substance is a sum of the atomic masses of all atoms in a formula unit of a compound. Example, formula unit NaCl. Its formula unit mass can be calculated as 1 into 23 plus 1 into 35.5, which equals 58.5 units. The number of particles, atoms, molecules or ions present in one mole of any substance is fixed with a value of 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23. This is an experimentally obtained value.
This number is called Avogadro constant or Avogadro number represented by N0 named in honor of the Italian scientist Amidio Avogadro. One mole of anything is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23. Did you know a compound's empirical formula is the simplest integer ratio of the chemical elements that constitute it? For example, water is always composed of a 2 is to 1 ratio of hydrogen to oxygen atoms and ethyl alcohol or ethanol is always composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in a 2 is to 6 is to 1 ratio. However, this does not determine the kind of molecule uniquely. Dimethyl ether has the same ratio as ethanol, for instance. Molecules with the same atoms in different arrangements are called isomers. The molecular formula reflects the exact number of atoms that compose the molecule and so characterizes different molecules. However, different isomers can have the same atomic composition while being different molecules. The empirical formula is often the same as the molecular formula, but not always. For example, the molecule acetylene has molecular formula C2H2, but the simplest integer ratio of elements is CH. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A chemical formula of a compound shows its constituent elements and the number of atoms of each combining element. Clusters of atoms that act as an ion are called polyatomic ions. The chemical formula of a molecular compound is determined by the valency of each element. Scientists use the relative atomic mass scale to compare the masses of different atoms of elements. Atoms of carbon-12 isotopes are assigned a relative atomic mass of 12 and the relative masses of all other atoms are obtained by comparison with the mass of a carbon-12 atom. The Avogadro constant 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 is defined as the number of atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon-12. Mass of one mole of a substance is called its molar mass.